The girl hadn't had time to escape and was instantly turned into an ice sculpture by the cold stream as Surfer desperately paddled back but couldn't escape the fate of being frouncing. In no time, the cold stream reached the shore. Jack hastily pulled his daughter to escape. They managed to get into the pickup truck just as the cold stream caught up. In the car, Jack contacted his media friend again, informing him that the cold stream had landed on the beach, claiming the students' lips. Now, it was rapidly approaching the city at a speed much faster than imagined. The friend immediately went to report to the authorities. Jack and his daughter were not out of danger, as the cold stream relentlessly chased them, almost matching their speed. Anxious, Jack called his wife, informing her that everything was too late. There was no need to bring her parents to the lab. Instead, they should hide in the house, make a fire, and dress as warmly as possible. Despite these efforts, Jack couldn't guarantee the family's survival. Soon, the cold stream alarm sounded in the city, and citizens hurriedly ran home for shelter, but the cold stream had already arrived.